Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language and natural language processing. So in this video I will attempt to summarize some text. Now I'm currently on Google's website called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to get started programming in Python. So if you're going to code along with me just go to this website and then log in using your Google account to get started writing your Python code. Alright so the first thing that I'm going to do is click on file. I'm going to click on new notebook in drive and a new tab open up for us and eventually a new cell open up for us. Okay, and before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. Also, you can get the code or just support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science and I will leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is import some libraries. Alright, so I'm going to import NLTK and then from NLTK.tokenize I'm going to import sent underscore tokenize. Okay, and I see some suggestions here, but we're just going to keep going for now. Next from NLTK.stem I'm going to import porter stemmer. Alright, next from nltk.corpus, I'm going to import stop words. And last but not least from heap q, I'm going to oh heap q, I'm going to import in largest. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this cell by clicking this button here to the left, and that will let us know if, if we've made any mistakes. And it's looking good, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new cell let's just see it's still going alright so it is good alright next I want to download the required stop words and tokenizers so I'm gonna type NLTK dot download and I'm gonna download stop words and then I'm gonna also download punct so I'm gonna type NLTK dot download punct as well alright and Google Colab gave us these suggestions and that's exactly what we wanted so we'll go ahead and run both of these all right, so let's create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create a sample text to summarize. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called text. I'm going to set it equal to three double quotes. And then I'm going to press enter and put three double quotes again. And then, then I'm going to come back up here and I'm just going to press enter. And this is so that I can write multiple sentences and keep them all in the field of view here. All right, so I'm going to type the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Period. All right. So something interesting about this sentence is that it's a English language pangram, which is a sentence that contains all the letters of the alphabet. So kind of cool. And let's create some more sentences. So next I'm going to put the fox is running fast to catch its prey. And then let's go right here. I'm going to put suddenly, comma, it sees the prey and jumps over it. Period. All right, next the prey is going to escape. So we're going to type the prey escapes and the fox will continue to run. So the fox continues to run and the dog wakes up and it's going to start barking so it barks at the fox. Period. Alright and then the fox is going to run away. So the fox runs away and the dog goes back to sleep. Okay, so we have these sentences here. Let's go ahead and run this cell. Let's create a new cell now that we have the text. And let's tokenize the text into sentences. So I'm going to use Google Colab suggestion here. I'm just going to tap this over. And what it does, or what it did, 
was create a variable called sentences for us and set it equal to sent underscore tokenize to tokenize that text and of course we got that from our library up here okay so I'm going to just go ahead and run this let's create a new cell and in this cell I want to remove stop words and stem the words in each sentence okay so I'm going to create a variable called stemmer and I'm going to set it equal to porter stemmer right so this comes from our library and this creates an instance of porter stemmer for us all right then I'm going to create a variable called stop words and I'm going to set it equal to set stop words dot words English so exactly what Google Colab has suggested here for us and actually I'm gonna go ahead and put an underscore here so we're gonna call it stop underscore words okay just to differentiate a bit all right next I'm gonna create a variable called words and set it equal to an empty list and I should say also that that stop words here we are creating a set of English stop words right and now I'm setting words equal to an empty list and this empty list will be used to store the stemmed words and a stemmed word is just a word that has been reduced to its base or root form okay alright next we're gonna loop through the sentences in the list of sentences so exactly like Google Colab has suggested here for sentence in sentences sentences is our list we want to then loop through each word in the sentence so I'm gonna put for word in NLTK dot word underscore tokenize sentence so I'm just gonna tap this over all this looks pretty good like what I want to do and for now I won't change this to lowercase I'll do that later on so I'm just gonna put sentence here so we have four word and NLTK dot word underscore tokenize sentence if the word is not in stop words then we're going to append the stemmed word to our words list and also I'm gonna add another condition here so I'm gonna put and word dot is alpha so now I'm I'm checking if the word as long as the word is not in stop words and the word is alphanumeric then I'm going to add that word more specifically that stemmed word to our words list or I'm going to pin it to our words list okay all right so let's go ahead and run this cell and let's create a new cell and now I want to get the count of frequency of each word in the text so I'm gonna create a variable called mm, I like that suggestion word frequency word underscore freq but I'm gonna type freq underscore dist all right so that's gonna be my variable my frequency distribution and I'm gonna set it equal to NLTK frequency dist words so I'm just gonna tap this over because Google Colab has given me that suggestion which is NLTK dot freq dist and then words all right okay so this is going to give us our count so let's go ahead and run this cell let's create a new cell and now let's get the top 10 most frequent words in the text all right so I like what Google Colab has suggested here for us so it's going to create a variable for us called top underscore words and it's going to set it equal to frequency underscore dist dot most common 10 I, okay so I kind of like that I'm going to tap this over a little bit we're going to add a few things to this so I'm going to add a 
left square bracket and then put word zero right so that's going to be the first element in word so for the first element for word in our our most common words right our 10 most common words and then I'm going to put a square bracket here now we're going to get the top 10 words all right so we're going to get yeah the top 10 words because that first element will be a word and the second element will be the frequency okay so I think that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and run this and let's see if there's any issues there are and the issue is that did you forget parentheses uh, let's see did I forget the parentheses so we have square bracket word Squ oh you know what I forgot here I, there's not supposed to be a comma there so let's get rid of that comma and let's run this again and now it looks good all right so let's create a new cell now that we have the the top 10 most frequent words and I think I already said this but just take a little note that word 0 refers to the first element of each tuple or tuple in the list returned by this which is frequency uh, distribution I suppose dot most common 10 okay all right so now let's create a summary by selecting the three sentences so our summary is just going to be three sentences right so we're going to create a summary by selecting the three sentences with the most frequent words and let's see what Google has suggested for us so here is creating an empty list called summary and it's looping through every sentence in our sentences list and let's see for word and top words okay all right well I kind of like where Google is headed in the suggestion so I'm gonna create a variable called summary and we'll set it equal to an empty list and then for sentence in sentences I'm going to I'm going to tokenize the sentence and convert it to lowercase so here I'm going to type sentence underscore words I'm going to set it equal to NLTK dot word underscore tokenize sentence so I'm just going to tab this over for now and get rid of all of well I might keep that sentence score I'm just going to get rid of all this for now all right so is equal to NLTK dot word underscore tokenize sentence and now I'm going to make this lowercase so I'm going to put dot lower alright and then I'm going to have a sentence score I'm going to set it equal to zero so that's fine now for word in sentence underscore words colon if the stemmer dot stem word is is in the top words so top underscore words then we're going to increase our sentence score so sentence underscore score will increase so we're going to do plus equal by one all right and then we're going to append to our summary so summary dot append and we're going to pin the sentence and the sentence score. Oh, and I tapped over quite a bit. Hmm. And it gave me this suggestion, which 
I can use later on. So I'm just going to just press enter here. All right, so this whole thing should create, well, let's see here. Let me just double check. All of these suggestions are kind of messing with me a little bit here. So sentence words are going to equal the tokenized or word NLTK dot word underscore tokenized sentence dot lower. We're going to have a sentence score that we're going to set equal to zero at first, and then later on we're going to increment it by one each time, and then we're going to loop through sentence words, and if that stemmed word is in our top words list, remember we got the top ten most frequent words in the text, then we are going to append both the sentence and its sentence score as a tuple to our summary list that we created here. All right. Okay, so that looks good. And I think that'll do it. So let's go ahead and print the summary. Okay, so I'm going to create a loop for sentence in. And guess what I'm going to use? I'm going to use what Google suggested here. I'm just going to highlight it and and copy it using Control X and then paste it using Control V. And I'm going to get rid of this summary equals here. So now for the sentence in in largest, we're going to get the top three sentences with the highest scores from our summary list which is a tuple right of sentence and sentence scores and then we're going to use this lambda function which is an anonymous function that will return the second element in the tuple let me see is that right it wants to return the second element in the tuple yes Yes, we want it to return the the second element. That's how we know. All right. Yeah, that's how we know uh, how to order this, right? All right. And then we're going to print. So, oops. So I'm going to put colon here and then print our sentence. I'm just going to tap this over. But more specifically, we're going to print the first element of our sentence. Right, and the first element of our sentence is just the sentence itself, and that should do it. So it should give us three sentences that are that are sorted by the sentence score, which is the second element in our summary list. Okay. Woo, let's go ahead and run this, and I sure hope that this works. So let's run this and let's see. Okay, so now here's our summary the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog the fox is running fast to catch its prey the prey escapes and the fox continues to run and that's the summary from our text above here which is pretty cool right okay so that's basically it thank you for watching the video and staying with me the whole time and a special thanks to the patreon supporters on patreon.com again if you would like to become a supporter of this channel i will leave a link to the patreon page which is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below thanks again for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next video bye bye